So when it comes to sous vide cooking, most people think of it for cooking meats or fish, but it's really a wonderful tool for cooking pastry ingredients as well when it comes to ice cream, fruits, vegetables, or grains. Using sous vide can allow you to expand your pastry toolbox. For the vanilla ice cream, I pre-cooked it using the control freak. Once I added all the powders and sugars, I blended it and used a smoking gun to give it a smoke flavor. And I pasteurized it with the Hydro Pro at a 70 Celsius temp for 30 minutes. So ice cream can be pasteurized in many ways. I like to do sous vide because it allows me to cook my ice cream base at a low temperature, meaning that you're taking greater care of your ingredients and infusing slowly. And the cool thing about the preset is that you can set whatever temperature you need and whoever's making the ice cream that day can do it the same way each and every time. The Hydro Pro is also really great for cooking grains. You can ensure that each grain will be cooked at the same temperature and the same texture. For example, here we used cooked barley. You can go to your presets and set it at your desired temperature, dehydrate it and fry it, and each kernel will be perfectly puffed. I also use the Control Freak, which is very temperature sensitive. This allows us to cook a caramel in each state at the perfect temp. For example, you can monitor the dry caramel at a specific temperature and you can monitor the entire caramel at its whole at a different temperature. This allows us to have a consistent product every time. And the probe also helps me monitor the internal temperature of the liquid to ensure consistency every time. So to fill the ice cream, I did a spiced vinegar and spinach juice. I cooked my apples using the sous vide toolbox, which was already preset to 62 degrees Celsius for 25 minutes. Using the sous vide toolbox is nice because you can test many recipes by having a starting point and then adjusting your time and temp from there. Then I can save that as a preset and anyone in my team can use it. And lastly, I just compressed some thinly sliced apples and did them scallop style on top of the dish. This is a smoked vanilla ice cream set on top of toasted barley and peanut powder with sous vide apples and salted caramel. This is a chocolate banana and smoked vanilla ice cream cone. For the banana mousse, I cooked the bananas whole using my presets, which I set for 62 Celsius and let them cook for two hours. Once done, I blended them up using brown butter, cinnamon, heavy cream, and a little bit of salt. Now to build the cone, I added chocolate on the bottom to seal it, followed by the banana butter, candied cashews with a little bit of black sesame seed, our smoked vanilla ice cream, and then finally it's dipped in a chocolate shell. Everyone loves a good ice cream cone and this just reminds me of a fun and playful way, but also giving it an unexpected twist with the smoke.